Welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. This video will show you how to create simple website MVVM by adding a new page that shows the contact list. This tutorial video will be divided into two parts. The first part describes how to create a new client UI application using the project template in Visual Studio. You will also learn how to add the required data and resources to the project. The second part describes about how to create a simple application using MVVM pattern. Alright, now let's start Visual Studio 2010. Create a new project by choosing the File menu, then select New Project. Choose Intersoft Client UI MVVM Application Template. Name it first Client UI MVVM Application. Click OK button to create the project. In the new Silverlight Application dialog box, click the OK button to host the application in a new website. Here is our new MVVM project in Visual Studio. Let's take a look at the files included in the project template. The Client UI MVVM application template contains references to several Client UI assemblies such as the Framework Assembly, Aqua, Controls and so on. In addition, the project also includes a model, view model and views. Inside the model you will found a model base. For your information, model base class implements iNotify property change which is one of the fundamental interfaces in Silverlight or WPF. It enables the binding engine to perform two-ways data binding. Two-way binding ensures automatic data synchronization between the UI control and the objects. This means that any changes in object will be reflected to the UI in the other way around. Model base class implements the iData error interface to provide built-in error validation that generally notifies an error to the binding engine. As for view model base class inside the view model, it only implement I notify property change interface and the rest of the class works as a helper for example, for message box and dialog box. In this tutorial, we are going to use model base class as the base class for contact model, and view model base class as the base class for contact and contact list view model. Lastly, the UX page one page inside the views, this is the default page for making a view. Now, let's add resources to the project. In this walkthrough, we are going to use several resources from client UI samples such as contact data source.xml and photos. The contact data source XML can be found in Intersoft client UI samples. Open the XML's property window and set the build action to resource. After that, go to the Images folder which located in Assets folder. And Add Photos folder. Next, we are going to add Photos images for our contact. The photo images can be found in Intersoft Client UI samples. Ok, now that we have added the data and photos images. Finally, we are going to add system XML LinQ assembly to the Silverlight projects reference. The XML LinQ is required to perform LinQ query to XML data. We done with the project preparation. In the next series of the video tutorial, we are going to create a simple MVVM application using client UI MVVM pattern. To view the video please visit our support website at intersoftpt.com support.